I had heard a story that Dick Wolf's daughters were big Pee Wee fans, and that's one reason you came to an attention. That's his story. Okay. Yeah, he tells that all the time. Uh, Olivia and Serena, his daughters, were huge fans, and when he told them that he was looking to bring me onto the show, that that had a lot to do with it. But I think it was a hair issue, because I've always been natural, and at the time I had done like these four shows where I'd worn my natural hair, and Dick said that NBC said something about I had been saturated. That's my recollection. And I kept thinking, on television, how can I be saturated? I mean, I think it was just a hair thing. They didn't want a natural hair. And so I took, at that time, I, my hair twists, and I took it out and I brushed it back. And I put a bow on in the back of my head and went in with the suit jacket on. This is um, for your audition for, for it was an audition. Oh. He wanted to meet me. Okay. And he said, Look, you know, we have to do something with the hair. And I said, Well, Dick, that's what wigs are for. And he said, Well, I need to see it. And I was like, Okay. So I brushed my hair out, put this little bow, put a jacket on, and when I walked in the room, he just started laughing. Because he'd only see me with like natural hair. And here I was with this like semi quaff and he just started laughing. He said, this is Van Buren. And I was like, that's her name, Van Buren? <laughs> so I was just hoping it wasn't Claghorn or something. And he said, yeah, Anita Van Buren. And I, that was a Friday. I started working on Monday. So that's, I want to back up and say, how did that come about? In, in other words, Law and Order had been on the air already. Four years, four okay. seasons. Four seasons, and you had been in the first one as another character. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what What was the environment for bringing in new characters? What was the reasoning? Well, uh, NBC was going to cancel the show because they felt it was too testosterone-driven, that they needed to bring in women. And so Dick decided to make um, the uh, commander of the precinct a woman and then to bring in a young ADA female. And that's how Jill Hennessy and I got on the show. It was literally because they were getting ready to cancel it. And, and that change uh, in the show, that after that first season, the numbers were incredible. And the de demographics changed exponentially. Like women started watching the show and that's what they really wanted. They wanted to change the demographic. And, uh, you know, the times were changing, too. Um, you know, I think before that, we'd only seen, like, Cagney and Lacey. Um, and, and Van Buren was truly the precursor to a lot of females coming in after that as figures of authority. Um, so it, it was a, a great honor to be a part of the show that, you know, I was a huge fan of, and indeed, when we first started, I would, unless I was in the, I would ask the writer, am I in the second half? And they'd say yes or no. If they said no, I wouldn't read the second half. That way I could still be a fan. So I wouldn't know how the show was gonna end. And I did that for about two years. And then I realized I couldn't do it anymore. But it just, I wanted to stay a fan because I was a huge fan of the show. And so that's what I would do. And, they, and when they told me that I was in the second half, then I'd, I'd read the second half too. And I was the only character that could do that. Um, Stephen Hill couldn't, his character couldn't because he had to know how we got to him. But all I had to know was the case. Um, so it was a great way to, to just stay a fan of the show. You were law, and you could hand it off to order and, yeah. and enjoy order as a fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then be, because uh, I was always amazed at, you know, the fact that what Law & Order did was that the audience was invested in the story simply because it was ripped from the headlines. So they already have an investment. They know the key components of the story. But what Law & Order always did was make that turn that you would never expect. And so to be able to, to be a part of the episode and yet not know how it's going to end. I, I can't tell you how many times I would go to the writers after and I'd go, man, I can't believe how you ended that episode. That was like mad crazy. 
And it was just amazing to be able to do that. But that couldn't last for long. I, I had to read the whole script. <laughs> I couldn't be a fan like that, you know.